Stephen, before I get onto that game, congratulations, top of the group, and it's been a perfect group stage, so see you side for tomorrow's draw. Yeah, we're delighted with her. You know, if you told me at the start, we'd have won four out of four. Um, you know, scored a lot of goals in the way and probably could have scored a heck of a lot more as well. Um, I think we play better than we've done today. It's frustrating, you know, because you have so much of the ball and I believe we had a lot of crosses into the box again. But, um, you know, it shows a character and spirit of the boys. It's not easy to win football matches at any level. So they've won four out of four, so we'll take a lot of credit of that. On the build-up to this game, Stephen, you reflected on Tuesday night as a lesson on what could happen if you don't take your chances, but effectively creating enough chances to take at least one. I think very similar again. I think we'd actually clearer cut chances again today. Um, I think I was told there was about 44 crosses a game put into the box. So we're doing something right. We're getting the ball wide. The deliveries have been very good. You know, I think Elliot Freer probably put 35 of those in on his own. Um, and you know, people are, are still finding their feet. It's the hardest bit in the, the game to score goals, but with very a lot of chances, a lot of chances. You know, if we'd scored six or seven goals, then it would have been justified. And at the other end of the park as well, Stephen, only two goals conceded throughout the whole group stage, so that must be another pleasing part for you. Yeah, it's a that's a massive bonus. You know, I'm well aware we conceded a lot of goals last year. You know, I pride myself on the organisation of the team and defending set play. So we we've done that well. Um, we've added a lot of pace in the team. You know, I thought Cedric Kipper was outstanding today, as was Charles Dunn, the two of them. Carl McHugh when he stepped back in there. Um, you know, so we have got a lot more solid in there and we're, we've got a lot more pace in the side, so long may that continue. You were of course forced into an early change today with Stevie Hamill picking up that knock, but you've got options to, to to change things when needed is that another pleasing part for you that Kyle can drop off you can bring players off the bench yeah it is we, we've got a little bit more depth in the squad I, I still think we need another defender in there because when I take Carl out of midfield I think we lose a little bit of solidity in there you know um, we've we've got players that can play and make things happen in there now but we do need that defensive linchpin as it so to speak in there and when you take Carl out not today because we, we controlled the game and dictated it but you know it, it's something we need to address over the coming week with Rangers right around the corner Louis Moult was back in this, the team today is it still to get back to full fit of course, team, but what did you make of his return to the side? Yeah, we, we wanted to start him. You know, we took him out of training. He hasn't had a lot of training time under his belt, you know, so we, we wanted to get some game time in. So we're delighted he got 60 minutes. He probably had, could have had three or four goals, you know, a really short multi. I'll do that for you. But he, he's still getting there. He's still very much getting there. But the pleasing aspect is he's had no reaction to the 60 minutes and we'll, we'll kick on from there. And a debut for George Newell. He came on and he lit things up. He was lively, looking to get involved. You, you were you pleased with what you saw today? We've been absolutely delighted with George since he came in. You know, we've, we've brought him in to work alongside the under 20s and, and maybe just be knocking on the door the first team but he's probably ahead of all our expectations and if his goal went into that it would have been a super goal but his, his work rate and desire is, is fantastic so yeah he's a long way to go he's a young boy but um, we're, we're very hopeful uh, You've spoken about it a lot but how much can you take from this cup stage is going into league action because you don't want to get too carried away but it's been a great way to start competitive football uh, It's certainly better than losing four games I know that you know, I mean we've, we've won four out of four we've conceded a minimal amount of goals scored a lot of goals we've created a heck of a lot of chances so it's very positive it's really positive but you know I'm a realist I, I know where we are I know there's still a lot of improvement um, you know I think we can play better than we did today we can do the simpler things again sometimes in games they get too easy and you end up taking liberties on the ball taking too many touches so lots of things we can improve on I'm, I'm not kidding myself yeah, just finally does that excite you there's still more to come from your team well you know as Laz said to me at the end of the game you know we've won four out of four scored a lot of goals and, and we're still about 60% happy so it shows you the drive we have got on the staff and I think you'll find in the change room exactly the same our boys are a little bit disappointed today um, which marks the, the characters we've got in there you know if we keep improving and, and building on what we've done already then we'll be okay well Stephen congratulations a great start okay cheers Lewis